So, this is Mama Jay in country. Mama Jay's country gardening in the garden. So, shout out and special love I'm giving to my girl, Queen Renee. I love you, Renee. You already know that. And so you put this fun challenge out there. It was exciting and it's fun. And I'm, I've really been jumping ever since I saw your video this morning. But also I'm saying, ew. So my first task in my TCB video, hashtag TCB, hashtag TCB, boo, B. It's going to be policing the uh, grounds, uh, and that's a daily task, let me just say, actually, it's multiple times a day, for my three assistants. Uh, Noki is out here right now, the big dog, Tallulah and Evie. So every day, multiple times a day, that's the task. So that's task number one. Okay, so TCP, TCB task number two. I got two, Queen Renee. I got two. I don't quite know how many is going to be on my list, okay? And this is this is daily stuff for me. I mean, every day I am clearing up things. We're harvesting. I'm preparing for the fall. I'm preparing for the succession planning. Okay, that's every day. But just so you know, I need to ask the question. How often are you cutting your grass this summer? I'm finding that I'm cutting grass every two to three days. Okay? And I know it's coming from all the rain. I don't know about you, but a few days ago, we had hail balls the size of golf balls. It wasn't rain. We had our share of rain. We had in zone 6b slash 7a hail balls dropping out the sky and it was for about 15 minutes that storm came in and went out let me show you some other things as we go along that the storm did to my garden but i'm cutting the grass every two to three days okay my grandson cut it a couple days ago a couple days before that i had done it and i'm out here again because look at where it's at. And it was cut down to the ground. I also want to ask you a question while I'm out here. And let me find it. So tell me, what is this right here? It looks like sand. It looks like sand. I don't want to dig my fingers in it. But I got about, and they started showing up two days ago. Uh, probably right after the hail balls, okay? They were about the size of the golf ball. And looks like something from the Twilight Zone. Am I dating myself? Well, it looks like something from the Twilight Zone. These hills, um, I wanted to call them ant hills, but I don't know. I don't think they are. And they have little holes all over, a whole, whole lot of little holes. And so a few days ago, I found like five of these. Like, oh, ant holes. Then I thought, oh, they must be. Worm castings. Oh, then I'm seeing these foreign things flying around like double-decker wasps or something. And maybe they're coming out of there. And could they be cicada holes? I don't know. But I know I don't want them here. So please, when you view this video, can you tell me what you think they are? And I'm going to tell you right now. I don't want them to keep on multiplying around in this garden. Uh, this is the first time I've ever seen this. Okay. 
and uh, they just they irritate me only because they exist. Okay, so that's that's one of the things that's going to be task number three because I'm going to place some white vinegar down on all these spots, dilute diluted, and I'm I'm pouring it on all these spots. So if there's anything <laughs> down there that's foreign, it's not going to be existing after tonight i hope back okay so this is this is a miracle grow container this is task number four yeah number four and, and i guess if you want to do this challenge you got to know how to count so this is challenge number uh task number four hashtag tcd task number four okay so we we picked up evidence from the dog to be that that's always the first thing in the morning and also uh, the time during the day and uh, I cut the grass okay and I located um, some dirt mounds I don't know what those things are but I feel like predators are coming up from the ground it could be earthworm castings it could be ant holes I don't think they're ants because I don't start seeing ants uh, they could be what they said is new as a uh, predator this year or return is uh, cicadas. Well, I haven't heard the sound, but I do have some fancy, uh, maybe inch and a half. Things look like they could be in the wasp family. I don't know, but I know enough to know they didn't show up. Okay, they're flying. They fly around. And I know it enough that they didn't show up until after the utility showed up. So, I have in this container something that I hope is going to prevent the utility from showing up anymore and reduce the predator company uh, visitors that I have. So, uh, and they showed up when the ice ball showed up. I don't understand it, but I don't know what was in that rainstorm a few days ago. So, in here I have water and I'm going to have water shoot through here. I have white vinegar, okay, and um, I have, yeah, that's what's in here. And I'm getting ready to treat this whole ground with this, okay. I want to make sure my dogs don't get stung, this is very pure. Um, okay, here we go. And I have to turn it on. Doing that. Then the pretty yard up. Then it want to come out. Let's see it come out this way. Okay, you see it come out this way. Okay, maybe I'll put it out this hole. If I say it's this way, you gotta know what you're doing. Okay, I'm gonna use this. So I'm gonna saturate this whole ground with this. But I'm also going to concentrate. I found uh, 11 spots a few days. Yesterday, I counted five. And today, I counted uh, 11. Tonight. So, they are coming up. And I don't want them to feel like they can come up, continue to come up in here. But they're certainly not welcome. Task number five. Task number five. We have... A friendly neighborhood skunk that likes to come around from the park across the street and um, spray every now and again uh, around here somewhere and boy that skunk destroys the sleep of myself and my cats and my dogs and recently again this was last week um, no, actually, this was two nights ago. Two nights ago, we got sprayed. And I realized with all the rain we had, I hadn't put out any repel all. So repel all is something you can buy at Lowe's, um, Home Depot, and I have it as a concentrate. So I have um, uh, about a quarter cup in this 62 quart, 62, okay, the support jar. So I'm sorry, guys. I, I normally put it in a gallon, but it's a quarter cup in here, okay? And I am going to go along the peripheral edges 
of the gate out here, the back gate, and I'm going to go along the peripheral edges of the front gate and along the edges of my garden. It won't go in the garden bed. It's just going to say, hey, Mr. Skunk. Hey, um, uh, Mr. Squirrel. Um, hey, whatever animals run around like there. Okay. Uh, please don't come into this fence right here and don't spray right here. Okay. So move on back to business. Get on back to business. Anyway, that's what I'm about to do. Okay. And basically, um, if you want to follow me, I'll give you, uh, I better go through this way. Okay. Can you follow me, Tana Lady? Okay. So this is my, this is my sugar cane right here. Boy, oh, isn't it beautiful? I started this sugar cane from a tiny seed. From a tiny seed, not from a piece of anybody's sugar cane. I had the hardest time having, trying to get someone, anyone on YouTube to send me a piece of their sugar cane. And I didn't receive any. I found a vendor, um, Reamer Seeds. I talked about it in one of my earlier videos. And I purchased a packet of um, sugar cane seeds, okay? If anyone's interested in um, some sugar cane seeds, I'd be happy to send you a handful and let you start your own. Uh, but this has done really, really well. I'm very excited about it, okay? Anyway, I'm gonna go and put this down. You stay in there, Nikki, just like that. Okay, that's all I'm gonna do for a long. Okay, so how many? You know, a true gardener. You can tell a true gardener from all the supplies that they have. You have pots. You have containers. You have trays. You have tray holders. You have the trays that the drip goes down into. You have all different size pots okay and you can't count them so since this challenge this challenge that we're taking care of business i'm going to take care of business on this and piece of refuge would be very happy about this and she's always saying how many pots do you need and i say well how many hammers and, and screwdrivers and, and nails do you need and so that's a constant conversation here in mama j's country gardening as well as piece of refuge so um, I'm going to um, clear out. I donated a lot of plants to the local community garden. Potted them up right from here. I started up seeds for many different people. Um, people in nursing homes, people in the neighborhood where I live, uh, people in the city, people who want to begin to garden. I, I gave them to children of all ages. And you see, I still have an abundance. Uh, I've donated empty containers to nursing homes so that they can have a project uh, for um, the different residents, okay? And I still have a lot of pots. So I'm going to make it my business this evening and, and there's a reason why I am gardening at this time. I normally do my pruning and harvesting and things of the like, of the like at 6, 7 o'clock in the morning. And since I heard this challenge late this morning, I'd already done my morning tasks out here. And so I came out um, like about 6 this evening to do the task that I've already described to you. So if I'm counting correctly, I think this is number seven. Um, but this is going to be the biggest challenge um, for me to sort through these pots. Some I'm going to uh, donate again, okay? And many look like they can make it to file 13, okay? Uh, that's the trash, all right? Um, 
and then others I'm going to stack up according to how many sizes I want to keep and um, keep them for future gardening and my next task fall gardening okay so that's what's going to happen here so let me take you over to the table I'm going to dump oh by, by the way I have water in here because it rained in it Whoops. I'm going to dump the water out I already know this is trash you know so these are good pots right here two nice pots this is like a treasure chest you know all right, I'm going to dump the water out. Give me a second here. And I need this jug because you put things in this jug. Okay? You put a lot in the jug. Okay? Anyway, I'm going to dump this water out. I don't know if you can see that. There it is. Oops, there it is. Oops, there it is. So we're at the table now. And I have more containers okay I put soil in here and make blocks and then I put multiple startup seeds in here and then I just pull them out and, and plant them in then containers like this that's the whole idea of these but this one can go to the trash don't you think so this is going to the trash but this is what I have here anybody need any pots can you just let me know? I'd be willing to donate you some. All right. And here are the holders. You just put them in here. It fits like that. And how many of these trays do I have here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, uh, thirteen. Uh, let's see. Okay, I think there's 13 of these, but I do have some more. I ha I'd say I have more than 20 of these trays. Okay, I say I have more than 20. And then uh, these different sizes, my larger pots, right? Go in here. I also use this to transport pots. And then when I'm taking them to anybody. So I have one, two, three, four, five. Six. Six. So I know I have a few more. So I say I have about ten of those. Okay. So I'm trying to take care of business out here. So that's what Mama J is doing. I'm going to clean all this up. And some things are going to make it to file 13, which is the trash. Some things are going to be set up and stored as I prepare for next year or even use some of these in the fall uh, in my fall startups okay thank you we're working again on uh, hashtag pcb all right well thank you so very much again wow. queen renee because uh you want to know just how mama j rocks i work in the garden in the morning I work in the garden in the evening, okay? Try to get the best out of it. It's not so hot today. I think it may be um, like 85. Yeah, that's called not so hot. We had 95 yesterday. And it felt like over 110. That's okay. I'm not complaining. Because <laughs> about six more months, we're going to be standing around saying, oh, my God, where's summer? I'm not going to say that. Like, I'm not going to complain about the summer where it's the cold weather. So listen, PCB, you saw me, you're going to see some pictures or how the next morning I'm out here, you know, I've cleaned up the yard already twice this morning and it's not even noon yet because that's what I like having, you know, the ability to walk around without being on my tippy toes because remember I have three, four leg assistants, okay? I found out here this morning, after placing vinegar and water in um, these, I can't describe what they are, hills that are showing up only this year, okay, only the past week in my, in my yard, okay, uh, in the grass. And so this morning, I found three more places. 
Yeah, that one was not here yesterday. Okay, so we're going to do the math, right? I think what I'm about to do now is number eight of my PCB, okay? This is next morning. And I had to break it up in two parts because when I learned of this tag game, I think sure it's just exciting to me. It seems to make people happy. Gardeners. Um, if I had to break mine in two parts because I started out yesterday after dinner to do anything in gardening when I'd already done my morning rituals, you want to call it. Okay? So now I'm getting ready to get busy. Now I have these teaching uh, things here because. And I have them in flame because it looks like, I don't know if these are dragonflies. I'm looking for somebody to tell me. I don't know if they're like part of these holes. Holes that's coming in the ground. I don't know where these things come from, but everybody's complaining about it. I've seen some other YouTube channels where they're complaining about them. So, uh, they need to just get out the way, okay? They need to get out the way, okay? Now, I spray hornets, uh, wasps and hornets spray because I thought they were wasps. They like looking like, oh, I don't know what she thinks she's doing, but she's not bothering us. Oh, okay. Okay. Well, I know I didn't get any visitors from any raccoons or any skunks uh, or any squirrels because I have the retail around the peripheral areas of our property. And I mean that I will let them know when there's something in here that I want them to have. They're not going to be eating Mama J's Country Gardening food before I'm ready to share it with you. Okay? And those are my two assistants letting everybody know that they're out here. There's Evie up there trying to yell at the neighbors. There's Tallulah down here talking to somebody also. Or asking her sister, what do you see? I don't know what they're doing. But anyway, they're busy. They like camera time. I'm going over here and get busy, okay? I see, I see, um, a Korean squash, and it is huge, and it hid from camera lady, and my junior gardeners have been hanging out with their mom for the past two weeks, so they don't even know what's going on here, but I know they're telling their mom, I gotta get over to this. Mama J, because I got watermelon, I got squash, and I got strawberries, and I got, well, they got a lot in this garden. So, I'm getting ready to clip this, because this would have been something they really would have been proud to collect. If anybody wants to grow something really fun, and just exciting, and a nice eat, um, grow yourself a Korean squash. It is delicious. Here's one of This is beautiful. And the thing about eggplant and squash, you can eat them at any size. And it's still going to be good for you. Okay? So I'm going to get busy. Now there is another one coming up here. You can see it there. Guess what? In two more days it's going to be two times that. Alright? There's one there. I'm going to leave this here. Um... I thought I saw another baby in here. This is almost done, as you can see. I'm going to clean this up some well, as I finish removing this one. I think there's a baby coming in right down here. Maybe that's what that is. Can you see that camera lady? The little tiny something? Maybe that's not going to become anything, but we'll see. But this plant is very prolific and I'm so excited that I do this. It's the first time. So I'm going to get going and clean this one up and I'm going to show you this is the before and we'll show you the after. So this was number seven I thought or was it eight? I don't know. But anyway, after clearing this out, cleaning it up, there was nothing in here to save. This used to be 
um, it was the last, it was a Korean squash planted in here that I just, you just saw me harvest, as well as I had pickling cucumbers and pear shaped cucumbers that were growing in this same container. This is a 20 ga 25 gallon container in a fabric bag. And I grew a lot in here. So um, this is now gonna become the home, this location of, I think I'm going to relocate my um, sunflower tree. I'm calling it a tree because it's like 10 feet tall. You will see it. I think we're going to move that in its place. And, oh, looks like I got a visitor. Check this out, camera lady. You see it too, Evie? Yeah, you see it? There it is. This is probably why um, I had to take everything out. Because this little bugger um, was tearing up my vine. So here we go. This is how we do this. Watch this. I'm so happy to do it. Okay, that's the end of you. And a, and a, and you will see pictures of the eggs that I found on one of my leaves from this uh, this pot, this container. Okay. All right. So I'm moving down to the next one. This is eggplant. Okay, you can see my little purple eggplants. These are growing nicely. I'm just going to clean up a little bit here, but I'm going to harvest this one while you're looking at it. Um, all right, cheap little feet. You're missing it. I'm going to take this right now. There it is. It's pretty. Here's that. All right, so I'm going to clean this one up. Still doing some things. Make sure I don't have any predators in there. And uh, I'll be checking your garden all the time. Next morning, you got visitors. The eggs have been laid. And the next morning, you see the evidence of, oh, something want to eat my garden? No. And I'm not selfish. I share what I'd like to share. Um, but this is not the space that I want to share. Okay? All right. So there you go. Next. Okay. So look at what we found down here. We're still trying to save them for my chief list of little feet. Okay, and his brother Aiden, but we got to cut this. It's this Japanese eggplant. Here it goes. They would have loved to got it. They've been gone now for two weeks. And looks like something found it too, and he's trying to place a little hole in it. See? And this is going to be ours. Okay, uh, I think I pretty much, I got one more thing to take off here. I'm going to take this container and uh, harvest it out and close this container out. Okay, so this is number eight that I'm working on right now. Okay, so I finished with Korean eggplant that was in here. And I truly love this eggplant. I really, really am going to definitely grow this again. Okay. Um, so I'm still PCBing it. Now I'm going over to number nine. And this also is, uh, this is Korean, let's see. Okay. And this is another, and this is Korean squash here. I showed you the little Korean eggplant. You know, it was like, so, Japanese eggplant. The yeah, Korean eggplant was around one. And then this is Korean squash right here. And it's getting ready to be pulled out also. And this is going to be called number nine. Number nine. Now, I, as I'm doing this, I'm thinking about who I'm going to be tagging. Okay? I want you to know. I want you to know. All right? I'm going to tell you right now. I'm going to tell you, I'm already thinking about who I'm tagging. So let me clean up this one. PCB. What you doing? You already found that this is an empty container. You 
it's what they do. They like, oh, let me see what's in here. Nothing's in here. I'm going to put me in there. Can I water you in here? Huh? You, you Can I water you? Okay. Okay. Oh, oh now you're going to lay down? All right. That's fine. And our sister said, what you doing? Okay, so this is my... One of my birthday presents from Camera Lady. And I've used it maybe. This is my third time using it. And this is a killer that keeps me from having to use my shoulders and full muscles any more than I have in my garden. It's battery powered by Black and Decker. And it's not heavy. So this is soil that I had um, eggplant in. And I found. Uh, squash bugs and, and them in here or, uh, or yeah. anyway predators made eggs in it and we harvested a lot out of here they just started coming in this container so I don't want to use the soil in here again I'm going to just till this just to loosen it so that it'll be easier for me to dump it into um, the track but also in the, in the yard container. But also, I have another one over there to do the same thing to. Now, two to till, and then I'm going to dump. Um, I'm not going to dump that container over there. Uh, that's a little bit soil. They weren't in that container, uh, but they were in this one. So, anyway, this is it's really easy. Okay. Okay. I'm just doing this to loosen it. No muscle. I truly recommend it. If you are a person that believes in tilling, I do. Uh, there are some things I don't till between um, between um, planting, and but a great deal I do. At the end of my season, I till my all of my beds, and you'll see that later. At the end, when I'm getting ready to get ready for my uh, snow period for the winter, and those beds, I kill them all, and um, and I might grow. I will grow. I will have. Excuse me, correct me. A fall winter garden, and I'll have a winter garden, a winter spring garden. But I till. You can do your thing. I'm going to do mine because this is how I get down. And I just loosened that just so that I can easily be able to dispose of that. Okay, so we've done a lot. Let me take you over here. Right now, I'm over here in the peppers. I'm just peppers and tomatoes. Let's go over here and show you what we've done. So, so where this was... Um, Cucumbers, various different types, and eggplant, and there was squash over here. Okay, now it has my first time ever grown sunflower uh, plant. I want to call it a tree. I'd say that's about, everything's taller than Mom's day, but I'd say that's about 10 feet. Yeah, that's about 10 feet. And there, that one, it's getting a face up there. I got a face over here on this plant. Sorry, bugs. And there yeah, are little faces, I call them faces, coming out in between each of these. And there are holes right there. They're trying to come out. So that would probably be about 15 faces coming out of there. And so much of this tree I pruned, as you can see. Because I wanted all the energy uh, to go up towards the top. It's pretty heavy. So here's another one here. It's about to have a face. Okay. I'm getting down in Mama Gay's country garden. And I have some small sunflower plants coming up here. They will be many. They will be short. I have an olive oil tree that I started from a stick. Here's some of the roots. And now look at it, it's doing so beautiful. This is my olive oil tree. Okay. 
Yeah, I'm really trying to be independent, you know? Got my own oil. Okay. And down in here are carrots. As you can see. I don't know what they're doing. Let me see if I can pull one out and see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's this one. Oh! 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 There we go! I'm going to eat that with a salad today. Here's a carrot. Ta-da! So anyway, that's my carrot bunch. Wait to cheat. Mr. the little feet see this. Oh, Lord. Okay. And over here we have another elephant here. This is Hawaiian. So we've moved these three plants. And now we have them on this side. As we freed up this space. That's what you do when you don't have uh, 20 acres and a mule. You work with what you got. So the space you have is, is a four feet by four feet porch. That's what you grow on. If you just have a little corner outside your home, that's what you grow on. If you just have a little corner outside your home that you can hang a plant, then hang a plant. Something edible, if you will. Okay? So right in here, I'm going to put more scallions and onions in here. I've been cooking and pulling them. So that's what that is. Over here is tomatillos, and you can see how prolific it is. I have some already. They drop off, and there's tomatoes in here as well. Really nice sized ones. Behind here are hot peppers. Okay. I grew maybe 15 different types of peppers. Hot and mild. So here's one. All right. I can read the tag and see what I wrote because I believe in that. Uh, Thai dragon pepper. Uh huh. Yep, you heard me. It's hot. And I see this uh, dragon fly is going to get some hot pepper. Okay, so now here's my other pepper, pepper plant over here. And uh, they were struggling for a little bit, and this is called a, um, let's see, a congua pepper, and it's supposed to be large. I haven't seen any peppers on it yet. Better do something, or it won't be lighted back next year. Red bell peppers are supposed to be here. I'm going to see if it's this spot. Last year, this area did well with peppers, Okay. This is the next level of strawberries I'm hoping to have grow out for my boys. They planted this a month ago, and this looks like it's trying to grow out of the trip. So we shall see what's on this. I'm going to take another one of these peppers, but I think, I think I'm going to have it it's not my lunch today. Uh-huh. All right. All right. This is okra country right here. This territory here going all the way back in that corner, okay? Behind the, the, the Carolina Reaper. This is Carolina Reaper here. And this looks like it's going to do something really nice. So, but haven't started giving us anything yet. The hotter the pepper, the longer it takes for it to grow, to, to for you to be able to grow. Okay, so... Those are morning glories trying to wrap all around them that I just pulled off. I'm still TCB in it. Okay, so back here is Lufa. All right, starting to get some of my neighbor's stuff over here. But uh, down in here is Lufa plant growing. Okay. All right. I see some uh, Tabasco back there. I saw Tabasco. right here it's Tabasco that is real deliciously spicy not called hot it's called spicy all right okay I did research on okra and please look at that okra video it's a part one and a part two and I also told you during that time I was growing 18 different varieties I have harvested two of them it was only from this corner one was the this is the candle fire here 
it, and it's it's giving me. It looks like it's got some more on here. One, two, three, four. Oh yeah, it's doing stuff. All right, I'm just gonna take this off because I don't want nothing to be in the back. It's me. All right, now right here that I'm standing in front of is where's your name tag at? I know you have one. Anyway. Here's another okra plant. I can't find the name tag. It's down in here. Where you at? Oh, okay. It's back here. This is... Hold oh, bear with me a minute. Okay. Silver. Okay? Silver Queen. Alright. Silver Queen. So, they're starting to give us some. This one, this whole bunch going to be up there. All right, but there's 18 different varieties in here. If you don't know this, you should know. Mama J love okra. And I got one right in here. Can you see that, Kimberly? Can you see that? All right, here. I'm getting ready to do this thing. And there it goes. Oh, whoa. And how'd you hide from it? Yeah, this is really huge. I can put this in soups, but I can't fry this. You really don't want it to be so big, but let me see. Oh, here's another one. I'm going to take this now because tomorrow it's going to look like a Jolly Green Giant. There's some okras that can, you can allow to grow really huge and some you cannot. Okay, so that's what I got so far. Whoa! This is really big. Okay, and there are more back here. Now, my girlfriend, my girlfriend, Queen Renee, she made some okra water The Lady Cheryl told her about. I, okay, raised Southern. I've never heard okra water. But you know what? I love okra. I can eat okra raw, fried. Okay, I can eat it stewed soup, okay, I, I love okra, pickled, okay, anyway, I got more back there, and I'll get them, but I just want to say to you, I'm still taking care of business, I'm going to get this one, because we're going to look, thank you, and uh, we're going to move on, still taking care of business, Okay, so up until about five days ago, this was beautiful, full leaves. That major storm that we had through here that lasted every bit of less than 20 minutes, 30 minutes, knocked over quite a few things in our garden. And the melon bushes were, the two were laying in the ground along with the 10 feet tall um, sunflower tree. And so it looks like as beautiful as it was looking now, I don't know what damage it did to my, uh-oh, here's one of my melons fell off. I think this was gonna be a cantaloupe. But anyway, I have, this is Chief Little Feet and uh, Aiden's plant, and they're very proud of it. It's Honeydew Melon. Look at that bug on there. He probably is part of the problem why it's acting like this. The squash bug family. Um, I don't know what happened. I do know my leaves were full and vibrant. My fruit were looking great. And two days later... My foliage is looking like this, okay? And I've been trimming off that that's beat up. I hope my melons are still growing nicely. And so that's the honeydew. We have cantaloupe in here. This is cantaloupe, trying to get its skin. Get that over there. And we have um, some other melons, a watermelon in here, so you can see one. I thought it was down closer to the bottom. 
anyway, this has um, this has sugar bay, sugar cube, cantaloupe, and um, honeydew melon, as you see here. Over here, we have three different types of watermelon. This is our very first one, if you can see it here. Uh, and it's still looking good. These are the size, you know, just personal size is what I call them. I, I was hoping to not harvest these before I got into like mid-August. Um, but I, I'm not quite sure. It's still fruiting here too. Okay. And this is, um, this is Aiden's watermelon tree. And this one is Keith's Little Feet and Aiden's. Uh, honeydews and cantaloupes on the other side, but um, yeah, sugar babies are in here, and let me see what says. Cantaloupe is in there. Um, here's one down in here. There's, the, there's one. There's another one on the other side. So we're praying that this we're able to harvest them as right. And I'm really trying my best to keep them up here until, here's another one. I'm trying to keep them up here until um, mid-August to be able to start harvesting them. And what I'm doing is I'm cutting near the end where I know that there's a fruit growing so that all the energy can go to that fruit on that vine. Um, it's something that I learned. Okay, so I'm going to clean this up as much as I can, and then we're going over to the cucumbers. Okay, now we're entering, now we're entering, entering Jurassic Park. Oh, no, this is not Jurassic Park, excuse me. Okay, this is my cucumber shared bed with the, uh, string bean okay so I'm gonna see what I find in here this this cucumber bed has given us a lot we had Korean cucumbers Chinese Japanese cucumbers oh I was I I'm waiting for a cucur uh, jerkins I think it's called um, little tiny ones look like it looks like it could be a small melon and they call it a cucumber but here's one trying to grow right back here. These little white cucumbers. There's one here. This this one didn't make it. Take it out. Well, we did really well with our white cucumbers, but here's one that didn't mature. So uh, that's something I will share. Like I always say, you know, I share. Well, I don't want predators eating my food before I'm ready. Here's a. Here's a, these are pickling cucumbers that are over here. And I think there's some in here for me to harvest. All right, let me cut down to some. Ah, there it is. I've got to get inside here. Okay. There's a few more going to grow back here. There's that one. All my little flowers. I'm giving away a lot of cucumbers. And I'm going to be making some pickles. Here's one that didn't make it. Right there. Okay. I know it's one back there. Sorry. Just give me a moment. Ah, oh. Oh, hold up. Made my glasses fall off. Hold on, hold on, hold on, here it is, here's one, that's going to drop it down here, I have another one back here, hope I can reach it, inside my cattle panel, okay, there we go, Let's see if I can get lucky find another one. Now, Chief Little Feet and Camera Lady 
they normally, and Aiden, they normally do our my harvesting. They love that, and I love it that they love it. Um, and they're visiting with their mom. So I had to do this myself today. Okay, as you see, I'm sitting down. Uh, in Mama Gay's Country Garden. We've done a lot. Um, I have some shout outs uh, for uh, YouTube families. I have a lot of respect for the YouTube family. As my one um, blessed son says, Mom fell in the YouTube hole. Well, I guess I fell in the hole. But I like it in the hole. So today, special thanks to my good friend, Miss Renee's Garden. Um, Renee, I've had a good time. You know, things I would have done in moderation, which you always are busy in the life of the garden. I said, I actually uh, did a lot just because I was uh, doing this for the fun of it, for um, for your gardening ladies group, okay? So I'm getting ready to make some shout outs. I have a list because I didn't want to forget. Okay, so I have a list. And I have one, two, three, four, five people. I think we could tag three people, but I, I, I actually thought of a, a lot of different folks. And then I said, oh, wait a minute. I definitely have to call out these four. So, my tags are going to, and let me get my spade. Excuse me for a moment. So, got it. Okay. So I have mine. Now I'm passing it to... Hedgehogs Homestead. I have a lot of respect for them. I really do. Beautiful lady. Well spirited. So shout out to Hedgehogs Homestead. Okay, so I'm passing this to you. And I hope you will accept it from me and join this whole mission. Okay, this is really an exciting challenge that um, has been put before us as a fund. So she talks with trees. She talks with trees. I'm passing this to you. Okay? Another sweet pie. No disrespect intended. I just have a lot of love for you. Okay? Cynthia's Backyard Gardening Tips. And I'm going to play. And let's all build off of each other. You know, we're all in this together to spread the good news about gardening, the importance of growing your own food. Uh... You know, hello, one of you ladies, let's kick it, okay? Cynthia's Backyard Gardening Tips. Uh, Whitey, W-H-Y-D-E, Family Farm. This is for Courtney. I'm passing this to you, Courtney. You know what to do with it. You know what to do with it, Courtney. Right? And I know Lazy Dog Farm has Travis... And he's a man, but Travis injured his back, and that's not a good thing. However, Brooklyn, his wife, has been doing all the work over the past few weeks. So I'm passing this spade, this little tiny shovel, to Lazy Dog Farm. And this is for you, Brooklyn. You're doing an awesome job over there, and... and we keep it up, you know, Travis is going to have to share this channel with you totally. All right, I'm just saying. All right, God bless everyone. Please, let's all support each other, help each other grow, and spread the good news. And let's share, all right? God bless.